is a tributary of Vaughn's Branch. It feeds into the Wolf Run watershed. It is the only stream left on the University of Kentucky campus. Before this stream was very straight, what we would call channelized. Uh, so somebody had basically come in and made the stream straight like a line. They took out all of the bends or the meanders in the stream. Next to the houses was similar elevation to what you see here, but on the other side of the stream, uh, there was actually a service road. So there was about a three to four foot difference in elevation on that bank. It was much taller. And because of that, it was very eroded. Uh, there was lots of exposed soil that was falling in. And because of that, people were starting to place uh, concrete or different things along the banks to try to protect the service road because it was in a peril of failing. Well, big picture. We're standing kind of at the, at the end of about a 240 acre watershed that extends from this culvert, heads up around the backside of the stadium, up to the top of the hill, uh, Coal Pile Road or College Way now, uh, across the Arboretum, and down kind of through the middle of the Central Baptist campus, and then works its way back down again. The, the project is basically to make sure when we have a large say a hundred year storm, uh, that we can pass all the water through that three by five existing culvert underneath Nick Road, which then extends about a mile uh, down past the railroad tracks and then, then daylights again. This actually started out as a flood project. So the pur purpose was to go through FEMA or the Flood Emergency Management Association and to address flooding. Uh, a few years back, there was a very large flood and we had a, t a couple of students who, who died in that flood. And so UK was really looking for ways that they could address flooding as, as the football stadium developed, as, as further things were coming out into this area and then we would have more stormwater coming in. The more pavement or more buildings we put down, the water can't soak through them, so it has to go somewhere, and it was coming down through the stream. And then along Alumni Road, we're gonna have three surface uh, detention basins that will help, again, slow down that, those peak flows and, and give us a longer uh, drawout time. Getting all that water to here to make sure that when we build the, the stream, rebuild the stream, that we don't have those big peeps and it all gets uh, washed out. So we want to make sure that what we're doing in this last corridor here is giving it enough room uh, and stability to move that stream over and give it a, an actual floodplain to work within again. You know, over the last you know, 50 years, the stream's just been bound in by uh, the residential development and the old roadbed that's now mostly gone uh, through there and it's had this real tight corridor. So we're gonna open up that area and re-engage it into the floodplain, create some uh, uh, larger sinuosity and, and step pool kind of condition through there. So we're building the valley. We're building a 40 foot wide valley of rock and we're gonna put a stream on top of it is basically what we're doing. So our role in the project is to basically implement Josh's design and we get to have the fun part. Like I said, Josh has been working a lot of five years and going through all the hoops and whatnot. Now we get to come out and we get to build it. And so that's the best part of the job for me. The opportunity arose to, instead of just doing flood control, also to do some sort of habitat restoration, which is what we have here. Friends of the Wolf Run, which is a watershed group that's trying to restore this watershed, became very interested in this project because the stream flows into the Wolf Run watershed. When you don't have aquatic life and you get vectors like mosquitoes, 
uh, uh, bad smelling streams, ugly streams, that kind of stuff there. That reduces property values. That makes people just want to bury these creeks. And so they approached me about working with UK's uh, project, capital project management to see what opportunities would be available to actually do a habitat restoration. Uh, how we restore a stream in an urban environment uh, inside town when we're doing concentrated redevelopment. And this shows, or will show, or can show, how uh, we can do it right. And so we really look forward to working with the university on uh, monitoring the plants, the water quality, uh, and how this works. So we're going to have a natural looking stream that's stable that also provides detention. And then some other things we're trying to do is provide some water quality benefits, increase habitat for critters, and then provide some research opportunities. You know, Carmen's been involved with this project for a long time, got the camera set up, and you guys get a great opportunity to kind of see it under construction, but future classes will be able to come out and see an actual restored stream within walking distance rather than have to drive somewhere. restoration, one of the most challenging parts for me as an instructor is finding a project during construction. So this was a wonderful opportunity because we were actually able to come out here and talk with the designers and the builders and actually see the equipment working. So the students got a chance to see what it was like to actually put one of these projects in place. Now that it's complete, it's also really nice because I can continue to bring back the designers, the builders, or myself and come out and show the students the exact features. We can use photographs or we can visit other streams around the Lexington area that are disturbed to get that idea of what it looks like before but then also show them what it could be and that helps them visualize what they can do as designers. So it's kind of I think a wonderful opportunity that shows how diverse disciplines or different disciplines come together on this project. We've got landscape architects, we've got landscapers, we've got civil engineers, biosystems engineers, biologists, geologists, hydrologists, all working on these projects. And uh, everybody brings a little different something to the table. And the synergy just explodes. You can do some really awesome projects. Eric DeWalt uh, was a graduate of the Biosystems and Agricultural Engineering Department and also one of the designers on the project uh, was from Landscape Architect. But Eric uh, has his master's uh, in engineering. He's also done a lot of designs on these projects. Uh, having Eric involved was a wonderful opportunity not just, I think, from the university for building it, but also from a teaching perspective because he has close ties to the university and has always been very willing to come out and interact with our students. I'm very pleased at how it turned out. As most design projects, you start one place and you go through many iterations or changes as different groups have input. 
Uh, this, I know, was, from the designer standpoint, was very challenging because there are a lot of different interests um, in how this project would come out. Habitat-wise, I do know that agencies such as the Kentucky Division of Water have been out here and have been very excited about the project. They're very concerned with improving uh, habitat quality in there. And I know Friends of the Wolf Run has been excited about this too because it was a chance to try to bring back some uh, of the habitat for what lives in the water, so the aquatic species, but also try to improve some of the water quality. We really like what the university has done to this creek with their design of creating a natural stream corridor. And it provides, I think, an excellent entrance into the university, a wonderful green space, and people have an innate connection to water, so they'll be drawn to this. It's a very compelling place for people to come to. I've been very excited about the project, and I'm really looking forward to, as the years go, and we start to see the vegetation uh, grow in, the benefits that'll come from there as well. This also presents a very unique learning opportunity on our campus from a teaching standpoint, but also from an extension standpoint, because it allows me to demonstrate things close by on campus as far as restoration of a impaired or a disturbed habitat to, to uh, one that has been restored and to bring back some of those ecological functions that were lost. Yeah, it's, it's a wonderful feeling, I think, of ownership for our students because they know that they actually positively contributed back to something on campus that's going to be here long past uh, when they leave.